we are now going to create our delete view so we're going to go and create a new template in our recipes directory and we're going to call this one recipe confirm delete so we're going to be using a detail view for that and this one expects the template to be in a certain format so it's the lowercase model name underscore confirm underscore delete so we'll go into our views and we're now going to import our delete view okay so i'm just going to format these as they're getting a little bit long now okay so we'll go ahead now and create a new class so this class will be called delete recipe and it's going to take in our delete view so this one we don't need to pass a template name into because as i said the delete view is expecting a certain format so it's actually going to go out and look for it anyway so we are going to give it a model and that's going to be the recipe model we're going to give it a success URL so it knows where to go after successful submission and that is going to be our recipes page okay so this one is going to be a little bit different so obviously this is fine we can go to the page we can delete it but this is not secure so on the front end we did our if statement around the buttons to make sure that it's the recipes user that's that's trying to edit it but that doesn't actually prevent people from editing so if they had the URL so if our URL pattern is going to be say delete forward slash primary key somebody could type into the URL delete two now if there is a number two and they don't own the number two then what's actually going to happen is they will be able to click submit and that is going to go ahead and delete somebody's recipe so what we need to do now is we need to add in some things to secure it so even if they go to that url they can't actually delete it so in order to do that we're going to use some mixins so at the top of the file here from Django contrib auth mixins. I'm going to import the user passes test mixin and the login required mixin. So I will leave a link to the Django docs in the README file in the repository if you want to read more up about these. But with these mixins, I'm able to do multiple checks here. So the first check that I want to do is I want to do the login required mixin. So what this one will do is by passing this as in as a parameter, when people try to go to this page, it will check if they're logged in. If they're not logged in, it will immediately redirect them to our login page. So the next thing we want to do is the user passes test mixin. I will also specify the order matters in how you put the parameters in. So if you had the delete view before the user passed this test mix in, it would actually go ahead and delete it before it tries to run that test. So do put the parameter in before the delete view. So in order to implement the user passes test mix in, we need to define a function. So it's called test func and this just takes in the self so this function um, you can't use the user passes test mix in without it it requires the test to be there so all it does is it returns true or false so if it returns true everyone's hunky dory it'll go ahead and update or delete or whatever you need it to do but if it returns false it will throw a 403 error by default so what we need to do after we code our test function is we need to create that template okay so we'll do that in our read directory so the only thing we're going to do here is we're going to return and we're going to say the self dot request dot user okay so we're checking the person that's making the request are they the self dot get object dot user 
Okay, so get object is a function that goes out and actually gets the object. So as you remember, again, we passed our ID in through the URL pattern. So the delete recipe knows which object it is. So it will go off, it will get this, this one object, and then it will check, is this request user authorized? So then it will throw that error if they are not. So in here, in the template directory, we're going to create a 403.html page. Okay, so I'm gonna make this very generic because everything that the user is unauthorized to do is going to come to this page. So we're going to just extend from our base.html. Then we will open our block title block title. I'll call this delete recipe and close our block tag. We will then open our block content and close that one off. So all I'm going to do in here is I'm going to create a div container and I'm also going to give it a class of text center. I'm going to put a h1 in here and I'm going to specify the error so that they know 403 and tell them this is unauthorized access. And then I'm going to put a paragraph in here and I'm going to say you're not authorized to perform this action then I'm going to provide an anchor for them to get back so I will give this one a href so we'll give it a URL and we will send them back to the home page so we'll give the class our usual button styling. So it will look like a button, but it's not really a button. So our BTM primary and our W25 for the width. And we will say home. So now we just need to update our actual delete page so we're going to extend from our base and we're going to give this a block title and this will be delete recipe and we will give it the object.title. Now we did not provide a context object name, so we can just access it with object. And we will then close off our block, open our block content, Then here I'm just going to create a div container, a h1 with a class of text center and a margin top of two. Confirm recipe deletion. Now I'm just going to create another div. I'm going to have display flex on it and justify content center and a padding top of three. So inside here, we're going to need to create a form. We're going to give it a method of post, a class uh, of text center. So we need to provide it with our cross site request forgery token okay so Django will not let us submit a form unless we submit this token again if you want to learn a little bit more about it the Django docs are very good so we'll add a paragraph tag in there and say are you sure you want to delete and we'll give it the object dot title so again we 
did not provide a context object name, so we are just giving this object.title and we'll put a little question mark in there. And the last thing we need to do on this page is create our input type of submit. We'll give this a value of confirm and we will give it our normal class for our btn, btn primary and width 25. So we're now going to go into our urls.py, we're going to bring in our delete recipe we're then going to create a new path. I'm going to copy the one before because it's quite similar. So we're going to give this one the path of delete and then we're still going to provide it with the slug and the primary key because it needs to identify which one is coming in. We'll switch this up for the delete recipe and we will call it delete recipe. So the last thing that we need to do is we need to go back to the recipe detail page and we need to wire that in. So we'll give it a URL and this will be our new recipe. And this will be our new delete recipe. And we will give it over the recipe.id. So we're going to go ahead now and start our run server. And we'll go into the recipe page and we will hit this delete button and here you see it. So if we delete it again, that is confirmed. So we're going back to the add recipe page. So again, this is a little bit of a mistake on my part. It really shouldn't be. So I'm just going to make a couple of changes here. So I'm going to change the add recipe to be add and I will remove recipes from here so that it is default when we get to domain forward slash recipes. That should fix our bug with the redirect on the add 